Hey guys, I'm Todd with Hobby Link Japan and it is that time of year again. Time for another hobby show. We are here in Tokyo this time for the 2017 All Japan Hobby and Model Show. So what are we going to find here at the show? Is there going to be new announcements, new releases, some surprises? We don't know yet. Let's go on inside and find out. And here it is. Everybody's been waiting for this one, I guess. Well, I mean, we had that other Perfect Grade Double O Riser, but, and everybody was expecting a Perfect Grade XA to come out at some point, but it never did. But finally, in 2017, I don't remember how many years after the release of that Double O, we finally do get the Perfect Grade Exia. And this kit is coming out in two different versions. It's going to have a lighting version, which I think is the one most people will probably want to buy. The lighting version is going to come including the LED set, and it is going to retail for, MSRP is going to be three Sanman Yonsen, about uh, 34,000 yen. It's looking pretty good. He lights up all over. I have the lights turned off here so you guys can better see the lighting that is on this kit here. We got legs, the legs are lighting up there, the head lights up, the torso. That looks pretty cool. And in the back here, you can see the frame that is going to be in this kit. That looks pretty cool. Now they have this kit set up on that display base that came with the perfect grade unicorns, but whether or not it's actually going to come with that display base, I cannot say. We'll have to wait and see when the kit comes out. Now there will also be a, if you don't really care about the lights for this kit, there is going to be a non-lighting version available as well, which is a bit cheaper as you can expect, being that it doesn't come with the lighting kit. So that is going to be for the perfect grade. Let me move on over here so you guys can kind of see this too. They've got a TV set up playing a uh, display showing there. And there you have inside they've got another perfect grade Exia. And you can see as the lights get enabled. Looking pretty cool. Now this kit, they have another poster here on the side. Let me get this in the video as well. And according to this one, the kit is going to be available in... I think, oh, this thing, okay. So it, it's a display and it moves around. It said 1202, so this is going to be a early December release. All right, there we got it. 1202, we can expect to have this kit available. And here we have the real grade. Um, this is the Johnny Lightning Zaku 2. This one is already on our site, available for pre-order. This one is going to be out in November. He's looking pretty cool. It comes with the bazooka there. And of course, he's got those uh, the special leg armor units that Johnny Ridden Zaku 2 has. That's a pretty nice looking kit. If you're a fan of real grades, you probably will not want to miss out on this one. And right next to him is another November release. This is the, the GM Sniper Custom. This one is also going to be out just as November. He's also available for pre-order on the site right now. If you're a fan of Master Grades, here you go. Also coming in November is the Zaku half cannon so of course yes on his shoulder there he's only got one cannon so i guess that only counts as a half cannon he's not a full cannon just a half cannon but origin kits origin kits as we mentioned in gunpla tv all the time they're really they have really great details and they are just hg kits but even for hg kits they look really really nice all right so moving on over here for another november release this is the, oh my goodness, if I can remember that name, uh, Kuru, Kuru Dem Gundam Saga. Oh, I don't remember the actual name of that one, but this is a build fighter's kit, as you can probably tell by all the extra armor and how kind of snazzy he's looking there. And that's looking pretty cool, so these are all coming out in 
November. Now down below we actually have something that will be coming out in December and this is the Blue Destiny 2 exam. This is an HG kit. He's looking pretty cool. Blue Destiny, I know it's, it's got its fans. It's a pretty popular series. Mm -hmm. it looks pretty cool. The blue colors. Dual beam saber setup. Okay, I think. Oh, oh, I cannot miss these guys. Yes, Gucci guys. Not just one, not just two, but a full on set of five different Pucci guys and they each come with signs. I believe these were all related to 00 Gundam. They had some 00 Gundam colors, I believe what the deal was with these kits. But if you love your Pucci guys, then here you go. More new colors on the way for you from Bandai. I missed a few other releases sneaking up here on top of this display. And we have another origin kit that is due to be out in November, and this is uh, Zaku 1 from um, Kilsiria's Forces, if I'm reading that right. This looking pro pretty cool. We've already had releases for the Zaku 1 in the Origin line, but this one gives us some new colors. And I think, is that a new chest plate? It's been a while since I've seen that Zaku 1 Origin kit. But that's looking pretty nice. There's a new BB release in the back. Musha Gundam Mark III, if you're a fan of the BB kits. Bandai has you covered this show. There is a new one on the way. All right, so figure eyes. We haven't had this on Gunpla TV in a little while. Maybe we should uh, see if we can get one on again. But there's two new figure eyes standard Dragon Ball kits coming out. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Son Goku on the left, and Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta on the right. So these kits just snap together like a regular Bandai kit, or a regular Gundam kit, I should say. They're pretty cool looking if you are a fan of Dragon Ball kits. Something else here at the Bandai booth that I want to show off is we do have some new action bases that are on the way. This is going to be action base. Five, and just looking at the parts here, Action Base 5 only comes with one of the bases and one of the arms, and I believe the arm is a bit shorter than the one that comes with the Action Base 4. So the Action Base 5 is kind of more meant for smaller real grade type kits or HG type kits. So that's why you only get that one. But they do connect together. You can see here there's a full army with uh, Zaku 2 in the front there and a bunch of... And a bunch of... Uh, Oh, there's Zaku's behind him. They look pretty cool. Now this is the Action Base 4. So Action Base 4 is the one you're going to want to buy if you want to get an Action Base 4, a Master Grade, or one of those larger kits. It comes with three of the bases to kind of give you an extra sturdier base to hold it. And the arm that is included with this kit is a bit longer, so it's better suited to holding taller kits. And they've got a whole bunch of extra pegs in these action in the in the base of these stands. And what you can do with those is they have these like the figureize effects. So you can find these on our site. And it looks like you can be able to plug these into the bases to make some really cool looking displays, action displays there. And that's looking pretty pretty cool. So if you're a fan of posing your kits, you probably will want to look into these new action base fives and action base fours. All right, we do have something cool and new to show off here at the Bandai booth. Now, I don't know if these are actually going to pre be produced or not because it says right below the kits that these are display items and they're under planning for checking. So fans of Pacific Rim, if you like the mechas from that series, Bandai is going to be coming out with two kits. All right, so this first one here we have on the left, this is the Bracer Phoenix, and this is from the new movie, Pacific, Pacific Rim Uprising. He is looking pretty cool here. The height is about the same as an HG kit, so he's not a very tall kit, but the detail looks pretty good, I have to say. And standing next to him, also coming on the way, is the, and if I'm reading this right, Gypsy Avenger. Okay, Gypsy Avenger in his blue tones there. He's looking pretty great. 
And look at those weapons he comes with. That's, he's got a nice kind of a shiny gloss finish to him. I don't know if the final production kit would actually have that or not, but that is pretty cool. It's always nice to see some kind of new product lines to come out from Bandai. Their kits always build so great. So it's always a fun, it's always a pleasure to build these Bandai kits. And I really hope that they do end up producing these kits. If they do, we'll be sure to cover them for you guys on Gumpla TV. All right, we have some more uh, robot damashi, metal robot damashi. And this is a new one that's going to be releasing in March of 2018. And this is the Strike Freedom Gundam. There you go. It looks like this one is going to set you back about uh, uh, 14,000 yen Ichiman Yonsen. So it's going to be a little bit pricey, as they are, but these kits are really popular. If you're a fan of the pre-built stuff, Robot Damashi kits, and if you're a fan of the Strike Freedom, then here you go. And some more Robot Damashi. This is from the Aura Battler. Gunbine and whatnot. We got some uh, some pretty cool looking stuff here. If you're a fan of that anime, we got some new, new stuff coming out in March. Some more figures. These kind of these guys are like robotic looking bug kind of stuff. I've never seen this anime, but these suits look pretty cool. It'd be cool to build a model of one of these, I guess, if they ever did some updated stuff. I think there was some older stuff. This guy is pretty cool. He'll be out in April. Hey, Yamato fans, there is a new Yamato kit on the way. And no, it is not this giant monstrosity you see here. This is going to be a much smaller version, but still, it's pretty cool. I believe this is one 1,000 scale, so same scale as that uh, Andromeda 2 that I recently built on Gumpla TV. But this is the classic space battleship Yamato from the new 2202 series that is coming out. This kit is going to be out in October, so only a few more weeks before this one is available for sale. This kit is looking pretty good. All right, so we've had the figure eyes Dragon Ball kits. Now we're going to get some figure eyes Doraemon. And this is kind of pretty cool looking. This is a plastic model kit you're going to be able to assemble yourself. And this Doraemon, he comes with, maybe hard to tell there, but his body is clear. And they got this really cool display here. And as you can see on the inside, he's going to have kind of his mechanical parts, because of course Doraemon looks like a cat, but inside he's kind of this like space alien robot. So he's got all of these neat tricks up his sleeve. This kit looks pretty fun. Maybe we'll see if we can cover these kits for you guys on Gumpla TV. All right, and not just Doraemon. They're going to get his kind of, I don't know, would you say his girlfriend? I'm not too familiar with the series, unfortunately. But Dora Mi, she's looking pretty cool there. She also has clear yellow for her body. And on the inside of her are the mechanical looking parts. All right, we are over here at the Aoshima booth now. And if you are a fan of Cyber Formula, They've got some pretty cool looking cars in this Cyber Formula series. And Aoshima's going to be coming out with a new Cyber Formula car kit. The Asurada GSX. And if you're a fan of cars, kind of the sci-fi-ish looking cars, and you might want to check this kit out. That's looking pretty cool. As you can tell by those paint bottles behind this car though, Unlike the Bandai kits, this is going to be a kit that you're going to have to snap together on your, or not snap together, you're going to have to glue together on your own and you're going to have to paint it. But boy, once you do get it painted and all de detailed up like this kit they have here on display, it's going to be a pretty cool looking kit. Now let me come on over here so I can see here. All right, looks like we do get some parts molded in color, but whether or not, I don't believe this is going to be snapped together. I don't have the details with me yet, but 
that look, looks pretty cool. There are some parts molded in color, it looks like. Whether this is the final production or not yet remains to be seen. All right, so we have some full metal panic releases also on the way at the Aoshima booth. All right, first up is going to be the ARX-8 Levitin. If I'm pronouncing that right, I'm probably going to butcher the name as I usually do. But he's a pretty cool looking kit. He comes with a quite nice, sizable set of weapons as well. Let me zoom in on the weapons here. That's pretty cool looking. If you're into full metal panic. All right, also over here, we have some other, and this is from, it says, Full Metal Panic TSR The Second Raid. And there are three kits, and these kits are going to be out in November, October-ish. So starting here in the back, this white guy is going to be out in October, and these are 148 scale. The arms, his name is Arms Rabe, Arms Rabe, I believe I'm reading that correct. And here we have another Arms Rabe, but this one is the gun, guns, guns, guns back and mine. That's kind of look, looking pretty cool. They've got a nice diorama set up with a staircase. You can see where the pilot would sit in these mobile suits. And then in the front, we have the Arms Rabe ARX-7 Aburesto. And he's got a cool light looking paint scheme. I guess all of these kits are going to probably come with that little stairwell they have at the bottom there and probably that extra guy. So these would be some pretty cool kits to put together. And it does say that these are going to be snap fit kits. All right, so they'll build together like a Gundam kit, I believe. And the plastic model snap fit kit. Yeah, all right. Aoshima has brought us a Godzilla surprise. Here's a cool looking Mecha Godzilla kit. And it says this kit is going to be released in 2018. This guy's got some pretty nice detail. He's looking pretty great. That. If you're a fan of Godzilla, you probably would want to check this out. All right, now also pers Persona, I know there's a lot of Persona fans. Persona 5, looks like we're getting some plastic models from Aoshima for Persona 5. Oh, this guy's looking pretty cool. He's got those full on wings and a nice top hat. He's a rather dapper looking fellow, I guess you could say. And we've got this girl over here on the side, also from Persona. It says Persona 3, though, for her. That's looking pretty cool. Now, these Persona kits, it looks like these are going to be out in, in 2018, but around what month or what time? That does not say, and it does not note that I see that these are going to be snapped together or not. All right, some new, more new manga kits on the way from Aoshima, and this is from Silent Mobius. These look pretty cool. It says these are uh, Silent Mobius Police Spinner. All right, so Spinner, oh, that's like uh, Blade Runner. They look pretty cool. Doesn't say, there's no date listed for these kits, so I cannot say when they will be out, and it does not say if they will be snapped together or not, but are pretty cool looking kits. All right, so Macross. So Bandai has their Macross kits. Hasegawa has their Macross kits. And now it looks like Aoshima is also getting into the Macross kit in 2018 with a variety of new kits. Variable fighter girls, they say. So here we have the VFG and it says these will be snap kit plastic models. And these are non-scale, so not 172nd or 144th like the Bandai and Hasegawa kits. So just kind of a cool, maybe fun build if you're not too worried about the scale. This is the VFG VF31 in fighter mode. And then over here we have in 
The F31 PRT Batroid mode. She's looking pretty cool. It's a girl mixed with everyone's favorite VF31 fighter. And then over here, it looks like maybe you can combine the two, or is this a separate kit? I'm not sure. This is the VF31 Gearwalk mode. So we got a nice shot of the backside there. And as it scrolls around, you can kind of see, I'm not sure, uh, are you able to combine the two kits or what? But that looks pretty cool. She gets up on the back of him and rides him like well, you can see the handlebars there, like her own personal flying motorcycle in a way. All right, now over at the Hasegawa booth, we are taking a look at a new version of the VF31 from the cross that they have on the way. Now, these kits are not transformable. You will have to put them together yourself. This VF31 is going to be due out in, it says 2017 new. I believe it comes out in December. Around December 19th or December 22nd, I think it says. Now this kit, I think they might have already had a variation of this out before, but this kit looks to come with some new parts, as you can see down here below. So if you're a fan of building your kits and painting your kits, then this might just be the VF31 that you will want to get. All right, over at the Kotobukiya booth now, we have some new frame arm girls on the way. These kids are always popular and they, we seem to get lots of likes whenever this was featured on the Gunpla TV, which Lindsay recently built one of them of. There is a new girl that is coming out. Frame arms girl and her name is in kanji. I cannot read that. But this one is going to be out in February. She's looking pretty cool. And we've got another one of these kind of cool looking boxy frame arm girls type things over on the right. This time, we already had this on the site uh, in a different color, but we're getting a green version as well. They kind of look pretty cool. Fans of, there are a lot of fans of frame arm girls. Not sure what the deal is with this girl. There is nothing that says whether or not this has already been released or Gnome scale? Nope. Not sure what, when she'll be released or if she's already been released, but she looks pretty cool as well. Alright, so Megami device kind of looks like Frame Arm Girls, but I guess it's a different series. There are some new stuff on the way for Megami device. We've got two of them here. One, The one on the left will be out in December, and the girl on the right with her two big swords and that nice saluting pose there she will be out in January pretty cool if you're a fan of Megami device more new Megami device on the way but these kits as you can tell by their great paint they are it hasn't been decided when they are going to be out they are kind of just test prototypes here they look pretty cool up in the back this girl's got her ball and chain and there is a third one over here, although, yeah, they are all different. She's got a really cool looking gun sword type weapon on her. That is pretty cool. So you can see the poster off to the side here. Or Figma, are these going to be Figma releases? I cannot say. From Super Robot Wars, Kotobukiya is bringing us a new non-scale plastic model the right grands Arun Arun if I'm reading that right. He looks pretty cool. Got some nice weapons and they got this guy set up in a cool looking pose. Look at the size of that kind of like a sword gun weapon that he has there. That looks pretty nice. This guy is going to be out this December so if you think about it the end of the year is coming up pretty soon. So Super Robot Wars, I know that was a video game series, got to start on the Game Boy long, long ago. So it's kind of cool to see these kits, or these robots, come to life in model kits. Alright, so Zoid fans, there is something news for the Zoids, and this one will actually be out in November, so I believe it is already on the site. That looks pretty cool, it's kind of got this bat-looking look to it. The RZ029 Storms... Storm Soda, if I'm reading that right, Storm Soda. This is 172nd scale. They've got a full-on 
Zoid display. I believe these two guys in the front have already been available for sale, if I remember right. And of course we have the reissues of the Death Stinger and Godzilla the Ogre, which I am building for Gunpla TV. Slowly but surely, we'll get that thing built. Zoid kits, if you haven't built a Zoid kit, they are pretty fun. They've got some pretty nice details. All right, and we have some frame arms here. I'm not sure what the deal is with that poster in the back, but here in the front we have the LX R01J Yakuto Folks, if I'm reading that right. This one will be out in November. He's got some pretty cool looking wings there on the back. Nice colors, I like that kind of two different tones of bluish kind of purplish color. Looks really nice. And apologies for the audio, they've got a really loud TV playing over these Hexagear kits. But yes, this is some new Hexagear, the Hide Storm. This one is going to be coming out in January. I really like the looks of this one. It's kind of got this giant, kind of spidery looking octopus look to it. I know the other Hexagear kits have all been mounts before, but I don't think this one is going to be a mount like some of those other Hexagear kits. So. That's looking really interesting. And some more new Hexagear. These are going to be really future, future releases, as you can tell by that gray paint. Although this guy here on the right doesn't have a date specified for him, but he looks really cool. I mean, this is Hexagear, but he's kind of got this really nice robot look to him. He's not, uh, I don't know, is it going to be a mount like some of those other ones, or... Yeah, and probably you can probably fit one of those pilots in there, or the governors, I should say. As you can see here, the governors are really kind of small looking. This is a really cool looking governor, this guy here. And then there is another one here off to the side. These are Hexavir kits. They started off, we built uh, the first few on Gumpa TV. And they have some really, really cool looking ones on the way as well. Here you can see a full-on set up here. There you go. Cool-looking governor setup design there. And over to the right, there's another new one. None of these have dates for them, but this one is going to be a mount, as you can see, the governor sitting up on top. Hexagear looks to be a pretty interesting series, and they've got some more really interesting looking kits on the way. So I'm looking forward to seeing these ones once they come out. All right, well, speaking of Hexagear, you know one thing I just never really realized, but I guess apparently these kits can be used for some kind of tabletop game that is, yes, based on a hexagon-shaped pattern game board. You can see the governors. they got little governors on little stands. And then there's the Voltrex in the back, which is the one I put together for the show. Not exactly sure how this game would work, but that is kind of an interesting idea. You can see the dice up front there. Pretty cool for fans of games and fans of people that like to build items for games. All right, over here, Good Smile, a 1 20th scale VF1. I believe we saw this at Shizuoka as well. It wasn't in this mode, the Gearwalk mode. That is a big, big kit. I believe this is going to actually be a plastic model if I trying to read this thing there. They're still setting up the booth here, so not everything is out. But look, take a look at these runners and how big they are compared to that table. Oh boy, this is going to be one big model. If you're a fan of Macross, and if you're a fan of big ones, boy, you probably do not want to miss out on this one. Hey look, it's Star Wars. That's right, well, we're not at the Bandai booth. This is at the Takara Tommy booth. And it looks like Takara Tommy is coming out with some new Star Wars items. They have up here on the display, this is Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Now there's no, there's no release date, there's no cost. It doesn't even really specify what it is. Is this going to be a plastic model kit? Or is this going to be just kind of like a pre-built Tomica type figure? That remains to be seen. And on the right, you can see they have a poster for the Millennium Falcon, but I gotta say, looking at the size of that gun they have on top of the Falcon, I'm, I would imagine this probably is not going to be a model, but something new, something Star Wars. It looks like Takara Tommy's getting into the Star Wars game. 
And it's going to, well, it says 2018 actually. So look forward to these coming out next year.